All right, welcome back. So this video is something that I'm very excited about because what I'm gonna show you in this video will absolutely blow your mind away. I'm very sure of that because we're gonna be handling one of the most exciting things that you will be doing for your business, which is changing your logo, okay? So creating your logo and uploading it here on this website. That is, one of, that is what is gonna give your brand you know, very unique feel. So creating a logo is a very exciting thing. I'm gonna be showing you a lot of different options by which you can get this job done. But the first option is probably the one that I'm gonna show you right now is probably my favorite one, okay? So if you go to Google, and if you just type something like create logo online free, you're gonna get a lot of tools here like you, you've seen here, okay? And to be honest, I always like to show you this approach that go to Google first, type something like this because Sometimes these websites keep changing. So you should also know in case what I'm showing you doesn't work anymore, you know what to do by yourself also, okay? So now here we get a couple of options. My favorite out of all this is this, the tool provided by Adobe, okay? The same people who make Photoshop, Lightroom, and Premiere Pro. So if I just click on this, the reason I love it is the, just the whole process, okay? it's First of all, it's free. And secondly, it's just... Uh, it works in a great step-by-step -step manner, which I really like, okay? So you wanna click on, uh, by the way, I have also given you the link in one of the lectures. You can directly click on that link. It will take you here. Then obviously you're gonna click on this option that says create logo. And this is what I like about it, okay? So I've already done this. So some of the things here are pre-filled, but you know, let me, you'll probably see it something like this. Okay, let's remove this. So it gives you these, three things which are essential for making a logo, okay? Because everything it will suggest to you after we click next will be based on the industry that you type in. So for us, that is gonna be the photography industry. So this will remain constant for everyone. Then obviously this is gonna differ. So this is gonna be the name of your business or in this case, like your website, right? Because that is the name of your business. So I can say Kush Sharma Photography. I'll just make it capital here. Okay, and Finally, your slogan. So this is gonna be your tagline, remember? So if I just hover over here, we've already changed this, food photographer in Pune. So maybe I can type something like, in the logo, whatever you want your tagline. Again, like Nike, just do it. And you get the point, right? So best food photographer in Pune. Or let, actually, let's just be a bit more <laughs> modest. Let's move best, okay, that, that, this is fine, I think. Food photographer in Pune. And you're gonna click on next. And then first of all, so this is something I really like. It shows you the different options that, the different styles it gives you. Like what kind of a style uh, do you want? And I have tried all of them. This is a completely subjective issue. If you want, open all four of them up in different tabs, see which one you like, okay? Because different people like different things. I usually like logos which are more modern, which have slightly a corporate feel to it, very minimalist. So I like to go for this uh, modern approach. Okay, so if I'm gonna click, just select this and click on next. And you can see, first of all, the first thing is gonna ask you is, what icon do you wanna choose for your business? Okay, so right now I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. This is something that you will probably have to think about it, experiment with it. And logos are something, by the way, I should point out, don't stress yourself about choosing something. Okay, logos are something, they just keep on changing. I have changed my actual businesses, logos, I think more than, probably even more than 20 times, okay? It's just a process. As your brand grows bigger, you will probably start to get more ideas and you will become more professional, right? Now I'm just gonna be fast about it. So let's say I choose this image, okay? Because it represents the camera. And then I'm gonna click on next and it's already gonna give me some options here, you can see. Okay, now my job is very simple. I basically just have to select one of them. So let's just go through some of them and let's just see which one looks good. For example, this, I. Probably would feel this is uh, too basic, right? Even the icon is not there uh, in this. So some of the ones, only the tagline and the name is there. Um, I think this looks fine, but the camera icon is not there. I think this looks fine, but the tagline is not here. Uh, so I think this is fine. This one is fine. Let's just look at some more. And like I said, I'm just being slightly quick about things. So don't, uh, I think this looks, Really nice, even if this looks really professional as you can see here, but again, the tagline is missing. Let me just see if I can add the tagline. Okay, we, anyway, we're gonna come to know of that. Okay, so let me just select anyone to be frank right now. Uh, so I'll select the one which has everything. So maybe like this looks fine. And
So I can even cycle through the fonts here. Okay, so for example, let's say I choose this. So let's go through. Yeah, I think this looks fine because then there's a difference between the tagline and the name. Okay, and so I don't think that you can actually change uh, the things here. Okay, so if you do choose a logo, uh, just make sure that it had both the name and the tagline. Okay, the other tools that I, I will be showing you. Uh, they will allow you to even change things and add the text. I don't think this does because this is giving you so many services in one go. Okay, and it's a free tool. So obviously they have not given you the facility to change things. Okay, that's the only downside, but I still think this is the best tool. Okay, for example, I can change the color here. Okay, this is fantastic. So that again will depend on your brand. You can think about it. I like to usually, I like blue a lot. So I'll, I'll probably choose this right now. And then that's it now. One of the most amazing things, okay, that I like about this tool is that just see what happens when I click on download, okay? So I'm gonna get this zip file. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna quickly extract this right here itself. And what you, this is what I love about it, okay? So just see what has happened here is, yes, it has given us uh, this logo, which was the color and the background color that we chose, but it also gives us the black, version it also gives us the white version okay obviously you can't see that right now white on white and it also gives us this and if i just hover over this can you see that these are png files okay so only the first one is a jpeg file so what does a png file mean so i'm going to explain you this in a very simple way okay if we go back to our website right now okay let's go here can you see that this logo that these theme people have uploaded this just has, it's only opaque on the logo part, but behind that there's no background, right? Because this would have looked bad if there was like, let's say, you know, like a canvas behind it, like a white background behind it or any other color background behind it, because that would hide this part of this image. So we only want, basically we want the background to be removed and we only want the logo elements, the text and the icon to appear. This is what happens in a PNG format that you, this basically, for example, this is a PNG image. There's no background here, okay? We just have this, that's it. So now it's my call. I have to see according to, especially according to this image that we've got, which one will look good. I'm guessing white will look better here, okay? Because remember, this is a dark image and even these people here have used white and I think white looks uh, good. If you were probably using a white background, which uh, a whitish image, which is very bright, probably you can go for either the colored logo or the black logo. So that is a call that you will have to uh, just take. But this is going to be important because this is your home page. So your logo should be seen properly. So let's say that I probably will go for the white one. Now, the only thing is we can't see this, but if you can just enlarge this thumbnail, okay. If I just hover over this, you can see there's a lot of space on top and the bottom of the logo. So if I want to just upload this image directly over here, what's gonna happen is this logo, there will be that space above and therefore that logo will, this logo will probably be somewhere here, which is obviously not gonna look good. We want this on one corner. Therefore, what we have to do before we upload this logo is that we need to crop this image just like around the logo, that's it. We don't want this top and bottom space to be there. Okay, so how can we do that? That's what I'm going to show you right now. All right, now to be frank, you can use any tool to crop your image. I'm showing you Photo P. So, okay, I've given you the link. You will find it one on one of the lectures. This is basically, I love this tool because this is basically a replica of Photoshop. Okay, I don't know how these people get away with the legal side of things, but this is actually a replica of Photoshop for free. The only difference is this is online. So this is cloud-based, okay? You need the internet connection for it to work. But once I open an image, you're actually gonna see if you've ever used Photoshop, it's nothing but Photoshop itself, okay? So, uh, so let's see how this works. So I'm gonna go on to open from computer. Now, obviously you can use any software which allows you to crop an image, okay? So it doesn't matter. So here, if I go to my downloads folder, I open this thing that we have saved and I open this file. So you can see here, if you've ever seen Photoshop, you know, it's fantastic that it's completely free now. So here, I can just go onto this crop tool and we're only kind of just using it for crop, cropping, okay? So I'm just gonna absolutely just make sure because I can see the white parts, right? I'm just gonna make sure that this is, 
absolutely okay and even from the sides just make sure that the sides are not that important but definitely the left side is important won't give it too much space otherwise from the left part it will just move that much so try to just crop it around the area that's the whole thing and this png background is what you are seeing behind there's no background whenever you see in photoshop uh if you just see this checkered thing that means there's it's a transparent background and by the way i should point out right now i'm sure you must have guessed i do have a full-fledged photoshop course i have both basic courses and advanced courses on photoshop so do check them out uh, also okay so now is the time i'm just going to save this so i'm going to go to file and then i'm going to click on save okay so let me just see how to so i can go to export actually okay rather than saving it i can just export it as a png okay now i can okay i can change the width and height and the quality right from here itself okay so remember the compress image tool that we have been using till now instead of that to be frank you can also use photopea the reason i didn't show you this is i don't trust photopea okay i have a feeling that one day adobe is going to do a legal case on these people and this company is this website is going to shut down that's i always have this fear about photopea that's why i've not shown you otherwise you can do those same things that i've shown you before you can do it in one go right from using photo p also so this is the second option you have but again since i've used the other tool first i'm not going to do the changing of the size and the quality and all we just literally use this tool for cropping okay but that's another reason why i showed you photo p right now so that you should know you also have this much more convenient option of changing the width and quality also okay so i'm just right now going to click on save okay let's just see this image so you can see here right now it's just around that okay now is the time we're going to do something similar okay we're going to see first of all we're going to go to our website we're not going to play a guessing game we even for this logo we will be seeing what is the size of the logo that these people have put the demo people and we also use the compress image tool the resizing tool that we used to um, get the same size so what how you can do that now you must have guessed it we go back to our dashboard we go to media right because this is also nothing but an image that they have uploaded right so if you go to media this along with the other photos will also reflect be there the logo itself 